Hi guys, thanks for watching. This is going to be Amir's uh, ninth week of life update. Um, he is here on my lap, as you can probably see, and he's definitely really upset today and he does not want to be put down. He had his appointment yesterday, so that's why I'm filming this late. Um, he, or we had to cancel his appointment, and so we had to reschedule it for yesterday. And I'll talk a lot more about that. Oh, might be going to sleep. <laughs> you guys. Uh, yeah, um, just move him in a position where he can sleep if he wants to here. Um, yeah, so there wasn't a whole lot going on this week um, other than the doctor's appointment. Um, however, I really did notice he has been very drooly. Um, I think last week he really started kind of getting those kind of spit bubbles and he would kind of play around with those um, and very like sucky on his hands and um, arms, anything he could find, my hands, dad's hands, everything. Um, so he's just definitely kind of entering a new stage, I think. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure um, what that stage is called, but I know that's really common for babies to start getting really drooly. Um, I have a friend who has a five-month-old, and they have to change his bib various times um, throughout the day because he just soaks through them. And we have a bib on Amir today. <laughs> um, because his drooling's gotten very um, increased, and I'm not sure if that has to do with, you know, his shots, but he has been drooling more and more now, so that could definitely be the stage he's entering. And he is such a big boy. Such a big boy, I can't believe it. Um, we found out at his doctor's appointment he weighs 14 pounds and 3 ounces, so up another pound from last week. He is gaining weight like crazy. And I even asked the doctor, I'm like, is that's right, that's perfectly normal for him to be, you know, his weight. And she said, absolutely, that um, breastfed babies cannot be fed, overfed too much, or fed too much or overfed because they, when they're full and they don't want, their body doesn't want any more, then they just won't suck. So, um, but he is big. And even, I like, I have strangers, like, commenting when we go to, like, a store or something. They're like, wow, he's big. And, you know, they ask how old he is. So, <laughs> yeah, he's he's a big boy for sure. Um, we had uh, some more play dates with our friends. And that was a good time. And really trying to maximize um, my last week here on maternity leave. I'm so sad about that. I know I talk about it all the time. But, <sighs> I'm just really sad. I don't want to leave him. I don't. But anyways, let's live in the present here. <laughs> so, um, other than that, he has been sleeping amazingly well. Amazingly well. Um, which is really just a fantastic thing for me now going back to work. Um, he has been sleeping at least five hours straight. And usually like one time per night getting up um, to be fed. So that's great. And again, I mentioned he goes right back to sleep, so there's not really too much um, problems with that. I just am so blessed and I'm <laughs> kind of worried that the next one I have won't be such a great sleeper and such a calm baby, but I'm just really grateful for that. Um, we have been doing lots of tummy time, and I definitely have been noticing more head strength. Um, I tried putting him the, in the bumbo as well, but he definitely did not have the head strength for that, um, so we just took him out. I only put him in there for a minute. I just kind of wanted to see. Um, they recommend it to, they recommend it, um, for babies that have, uh, full head support, and he doesn't quite have that yet, so, yeah, we'll be trying that again maybe next month, <laughs> just to see how it goes, um, yeah. And um, as far as his cradle cap, he still has that. Um, we've really been trying to brush his hair and using the oil treatments, but it's still there, but it doesn't really seem to be bothering him. At least he's not really, you know, touching his head as much as he was. I don't know if that was even the cradle cap that was bothering him or um, what it was, or if he just was like feeling his hair. I don't know, because <laughs> he definitely has more hair. I don't know, you probably can't tell, and I don't want to wake him up, so. Um, but he definitely has a lot longer hair. It's definitely growing. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. I should write things down, but this is kind of like my way of recording what goes on each week is by talking about it. <laughs> um, we did put away all of his newborn clothes, and I've noticed most of his clothes are 0-3 to three and a lot of 3-6 to six months. So 
he definitely is a big boy. I don't know if that's common. Um, my nieces were really big babies, so my sister said that was common for her, but he was, I mean, they started off as big babies, and but he wasn't too heavy. He was seven pounds, six ounces when he was born, but I feel like he's just really gaining weight um, rapidly. Oh, and I do want to talk about, too, this week I've noticed that my milk supply has gone down a little bit, and I heard from Baby Center, of course, my resource for everything, um, that drink, drinking Gatorade and then also a fenugreek, I know that's really, um, most people know about fenugreek, but Gatorade increases your supply. I don't know, I bought some Gatorade to drink, but I don't want to drink, like, too much of it because, I don't know, there's a lot of sugar. Oh, oh no. There's a lot of sugar in Gatorade, so I'm trying to, like, cut back my sugar intake. Definitely trying to lose some weight. Um, but, yeah, he's been doing this a lot, too, lately. Like, when he, not as much at night, but when he's taking naps, he'll wake up and just completely, he, that's, like, nothing. Like, he will just scream his little head off as if we hurt him. And then he, you know, has it for a minute, and usually he'll just go right back to sleep. But usually it's during nap time, so I'm not really sure what causes that. I don't know if it's, like, a night terror or a day terror, I guess, in his case. Um, but I feel so bad for him, but I, you know, he goes right back to sleep. Um, I think that's pretty much it, except for the doctor's visit. I'll just talk about that briefly. Um, yeah, we had our visit, our two-month checkup, and I told you how much he weighs. He's a big boy, and he's tall, and I can't remember how many inches. I'm really sorry. If I can, I'll have to look that up, and I'll put it below, or I'll talk about it next week, one of those two. Um, but she said that he's perfect for his weight and his height so I guess he's just a, like I said big boy tall and um, hefty <laughs> and um, at that visit they just you know went over the basic things just to see how you know he's eating obviously that's not a problem and you know checking all of his measurements and things like that and then I told her also about his eye it's still watering and it's still caking a little bit and she just said keep doing the uh, erythromycin um, serum drop type things um, and she said that if it gets bad and it starts spreading to his face like it gets red around his face that they have to do like some kind of unclogging tear duct surgery and I really don't want that so hopefully this goes away um, she didn't seem too concerned about it um, so hopefully it you know he'll just kind of grow out of that phase um, she didn't, like I said, she didn't seem concerned and she said that that definitely could happen. He could just kind of grow out of it or it could just become unblocked, obviously. Um, yeah, we're just hoping that happens. And then he, when it came time for, oh, sorry, one more thing. I had my doctor talk to my husband too. I just want to mention this about smoking because my husband is a smoker. He does not smoke around the baby, but I do not want him to smoke, period, for his health. It's disgusting. I hate it. I never thought I would marry a smoker, but, you know, whatever life happens. <laughs> um, I just do not want the secondhand smoke being picked up from his clothes, from his skin, especially with he, him being so sucky now. And, you know, not that we really let him suck on our hands, but I don't want him, you know, to pick up the nasty chemicals from my husband's hands or clothes and so I kind of had my I kind of mentioned um to the nurse or the medical assistant if they could just mention to the doctor if she could kind of talk about secondhand smoke because my husband's a smoker because he had just of course he was out smoking a cigarette and joined us later in the session um for the doc with the doctor so I had the chance to at least tell them that and so she gave him a big lecture and he said that um, he's definitely going to really try to quit smoking um, this summer. So I hope to God that he does for our, the health of our baby and for his health, of course. We need him around. Um, yeah, he needs him around too. <laughs> um, yeah, so he had his shots and he had three shots and I can't remember exactly what they were all for, but I know it was like rotavirus, but I think that was the oral vaccine and then it was um, tetanus and the pneumonia vaccine and then something called hib I've never heard of that before but I they gave me a handout on it and then there was one more thing oh the pertussis the whooping cough vaccine so he got three shots poor guy I thought he was just gonna get two and so that was just quick and you know he cried bloody murder for about a minute and then he was over it and then as the time went on, like, you know, the doctor said, my doctor said, just give him Tylenol. He's 
normal for him to have a low grade fever, anything over 100, 101, she said, or under 101, I'm sorry, don't worry about it, but anything over that, obviously, you know, we need to, they, he needs to be seen. Um, and he was very fussy all day. He did not want to be put down. Um, and he did sleep quite a bit, but then as soon as, you know, he could, wasn't sleeping restfully. He was like kind of squirming around and making noises and, you know, waking up, um, and just fussing. And I felt so bad for my poor little guy. I, he was so achy. Um, I just tried not to touch his legs. And we did give him the little remedies and acetaminophen, I think that's what it's called, like the Tylenol version from Little Ones that has supposedly less chemicals, but I mean, acetaminophen is not good for you anyway, so it's kind of defeating the purpose. But anyway, uh, we gave him that, and he seemed to be better, but he was really hot. Um, like, even this morning, I woke him up, and he was burning, and I took his temperature, I took an auxiliary under the arm, and it was 90... Well, we took it, it was Celsius 38.7, dang it, now I can't remember, but it converted into like 99 degrees, and um, I heard that if you take an auxiliary under the arm, you're supposed to add one more degree to that, so technically he was having the low-grade fever of like about 100, so I gave him more little remedies, and he seems to be okay now, he's not hot anymore, um, except he is not wanting to be put down at all today, which is fine. I want to cuddle my little boy. I want him to feel feel better. <laughs> poor, poor baby. I feel so bad for those little guys or those little babies that have to get their shots. Oh, it's making me tear up. <laughs> um, but I've been trying to do get homework done today too because I have big, big projects due um, this week and I will be going back to work. So I'm really trying to get stuff done, but um, he comes first. So <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Um, I think I rambled enough and I got everything that I needed to get in for this week. So um, I maybe will be hosting another video this week. Um, obviously not an update on his life, but a review or who knows, something something that I felt like doing or is relevant or not relevant. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.